This is that double bit axe, uh, Craftsman double bit axe that I traded for a um, little old, couple months ago. I just uh, just about dropped the camera. I uh, I just finished cleaning the the rust layer off of it. This is the first step that I uh, that I take to. Uh, um, to rehab an axe. This one wasn't really in bad shape, but uh, it still needed to needed to be descaled. Um, you can tell. The first thing that I look for is the the weld line between the um, the mild steel and the hardened steel. On this on this axe, it's right there. You can see the you can see the color difference right there. Um, when I'm inspecting an axe, um, one of the first things I do is is look to see how much. Um, how much of the hardened steel is along the edge and then I start looking for damage this one's in really good shape um, right along this surface here um, it has some hammer marks from where it was knocked off of a uh, a handle in the past uh, they, they've this is typical here uh, where the where they did a rough grind out uh, right after right after they finished forming the head and same thing is true up up along this surface so one of the first things that I'll do is put it on the belt sander and I'll smooth all of this out and uh, do a little bit of grinding to knock this these hammer marks out and then smooth this out with the belt sander also and then I looked at look at the interior and uh, one of the first things that you that you look for is you line up the eye and make sure that you can see straight through it like a pipe so that um, you know that the cheeks haven't been pounded shut because that's that's an old farmer's trick the handle starts to rotten out um, so to tighten it up while they're using it they just take a hammer and beat it and beat the cheeks shut to tighten it up but this one uh, this one's in good shape there's a little bit of clean out in there um, but a couple of minutes with a round file will we'll clean it all out. Uh, there's more stuck wood from the last handle in there than anything. And the only really real damage on this, let's see if I can line this up with the light, there, the guy that traded it to me told me that he found it out in his uh, uh, buried in his yard with part of a wood handle in it. Well, right about where that line is, where I put the blue line, all the way around this eye, from there upwards, um, is where there was water infiltration um, with the wood that was still in there. But that is is not actually a bad thing because with uh, this is the top portion of the axe. This is where the blunt end of the handle is going to be. So when I put the wood handle in there and then drive the wedge, having the wide spot up here will give the wood some place to go out into. So it'll actually make a tighter, a tighter fit. But um, you can see it goes all the way around the eye and but overall this is a 
This is an awesome axe. I'm not worried about I'm not worried about the blue ink because uh, uh, after I get this mounted, I got a um, I bought a fiberglass handle and a and a wood handle for that. And um, I think I think I'm going to go with a wood handle with this one. And the last one of the last things that I do um, after I get this get this seated is um, go over the top go over the top of this with some sandpaper and that'll take uh, there's some flash rust that's that's on the edge right now and that'll all come off um, that'll I mean if you if you just took a coin and rub this right now this flash rust this flash rust would come off you can see you can see there was a stuck piece right here I took my pocket knife and rubbed this the there's a piece of stuck on gunk and I rubbed it with pocket knife and you can see where it's shinier than the than the other so yeah this will uh, this will clean up real fast real easy um, there's no there's no damage or nicks to the edges there's a there's a unique little strangeness going on with the edge that I can fix with no problem but you know I just I just have never seen it before if you look at this this arc right here it goes all the way around to that point right there and then the arc quits and then this ear follows a different arc and I thought well alright some guy just got uh, um, he just slipped when he uh, when he was sharpening but the same thing is happening over here so I've never really seen that before but it it, it looks intentional I don't uh, I don't sharpen my axes that way but um, I'll straighten that up when I uh, when I do the edge but um, yeah it's uh, that's that's the only real question mark that I that I had so far on this on this one so anyway this is progress and I'm doing kill time I'm doing kill time uh, videos right now until I get this cast off uh, Tuesday Tuesday morning I get it cut I get it cut off um, until then I there's not a whole bunch that I can uh, that I can do as far as being active so there it is.